invasive species are ecologically extremely harmful. In a city like Chicago, in a place like Loyola, we can go through our lives without really understanding what's going on with invasive species. So my research covers uh, everything from the introduction of species and what motivates people to own different types of species. It runs everywhere from there to the how people keep them, if and when people release them, and then to the impacts of those species that get released. So I've worked on that for terrestrial species, birds and plants. Uh, at the moment, I'm working on it mostly with crayfish. So why should people care? You don't get large numbers of invasive crayfish without large impacts. Now, based on the species that we're working on and uh, based on impacts in areas very similar to the Chicago region, we expect that the impacts are going to include uh, the loss of aquatic plants. Uh, these crayfish are omnivores. Uh, when they've run out of eating the things they really like to eat, they start eating plants. When you lose those plants, you lose uh, fish nurseries. So that's an impact that spreads up the food chain. When I go out scuba diving in Lake Michigan, uh, sometimes when we're diving out there, I have the, the fantastic experience of of looking at my office, right? In the water, looking at my office before I go down and, and I enter this completely different world. You come down and you get to the bottom and it's a really nice area. It, it ought to be teeming with life. And in some ways it is teeming with life, but the life that it's teeming with are zebra and quagga mussels, which are highly invasive. Round goby, another highly invasive species, and the rusty crayfish that we're down there looking for, which is the invasive crayfish. It's very, very rare to see another living animal down there. So my colleagues who were working out there 20 or 30 years ago were only finding native species, uh, and they were having trouble catching those native crayfish because there, there were so many native fish around. And those species of native crayfish are, are gone. We can't find them out there. Those species of native fish, we know that they're still in the lake, but we've never seen them. My research program has, has developed and grown and it's thrived in the time that I've been in, in SES. And it's done that, I think, partly because I've put in a lot of hard work. I think also that, that I've thrived because I've had an enormous amount of support. I've had support from the Office of Research Services, but most of all, I think I've had really good support from undergraduate and graduate students and from, and from colleagues within SES. So that as I'm developing a project, as I'm trying to figure out how the world works in, in sort of ecological terms, I've had a lot of very intelligent people around me. So being at SES has been a, has been a fantastic place to build the research program that, that I have built over the last nine or ten years.